Welcome to Pactus.org and the podcast of philosophical and critical thinking points and how to make them in the classroom. Today I'm going to look at the distinction between a scientific theory and a scientific law. This is particularly important in the modern climate, and we'll see why. How many of you have seen this before? The notion that a hypothesis turns into a theory which, if well substantiated, becomes a law of nature. Not rubbish. Now, philosophers of science, go get a cup of coffee. This may seem somewhat simplistic, but I think it's effective nonetheless. Here's the idea. A scientific theory is meant to be a model of reality, a model of the universe and the way it works. As such, it has predictive power, and we can test it to see how good a theory it is. A scientific law is a different creature entirely. A scientific law is essentially descriptive in nature. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, here's a good example from gravitation. We've heard of the law of gravity before. What does that mean? Well, if two bodies move away from each other, the force of gravity between them decreases, according to the inverse square law. This is a law of nature. It doesn't explain why it happens. It just says that it does. It describes what happens. Here's another good example. White light passing through a prism will separate into its component colours. Give you the spectrum. It doesn't say why. The law of nature that it describes this just says that it does happen. Now, whether light is a wave or a particle gets into the idea of the theory of light, trying to explain why the law occurs. So the theory and the law are different creatures entirely. And some people will say it's only a theory. Well, if that's true, then what it means is it's usually been supported by evidence and has a chain of reasoning behind it. To suggest that we can't trust something unless it's a law really indicates that somebody's thinking about hypothesis, theory, law. And that type of thinking we see is wrong. Now, this is most commonly attributed to opponents of evolution. And when Ronald Reagan first famously said about evolution, it's only a theory, it was rather disingenuous. What he was suggesting there is it's not a law of nature, it's simply a theory. But it's a theory that's backed up with lots and lots of evidence and a very good chain of reasoning. It's only a theory that the electrons going through my computer right now are causing the electrical components that allow this picture to be shown. But working with that theory allows me to produce quite remarkable results. Now that indicates that my model is probably close to how reality works. It may not be exact, but it's close. So don't discount something because it's only a theory.